Okay, C. Lindelof videos, quick tips to max the production of your TI Inspire cast. Today, I just want to take uh, three minutes to look at the control equal sign key. So I want to talk about these six things super fast. The first five are going to be easy, take me 30 seconds. And the last one, the such that key right here is the one that can be really, really helpful to you. So let's take a quick look. So let's go to calculator. All I'm saying for this for the first six keys is that you can ask the calculator any question you want. I'm not positive if three-fifths is greater than, I think that three-fifths is less than, let's say, seven-fifteenths. False. And it may sound ridiculous, but it's a really great time saver. It's a really, really good time saver. So you get this answer back, you're, or you have this simple question, you're like, damn, this is just this arithmetic I can do, but it's going to take me time. This is a place I would use that. You can, instead of using less than, of course, you could put equal than, less than, equal to, et cetera, is one way that you could use this key. The way that I, the thing I really want to show you on this right here, I want to show you this such that key. So imagine this for a second. I ask you, when does sine of x equal 1? Well, if you look at the sine curve in your head, sine of x equals 1 over and over and over and over again. Not all the time. But it doesn't it? It moves from a height of one to negative one, and it keeps going over and over. Right? It's that periodic, it's that wave thing. So you're like, well, how the hell do I get it to answer it just where I want to talk about it? So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say uh, sine of x. And then check this out. Control such that. And then I'm going to have x is greater than zero. So I'm going to say zero. Put in my x. Now I have x is greater than 0, but I want x also to be less than pi. So less than, and then I can just go to this key right here and put pi. And then check out what I'm going to do here. There's lots of ways you can do this, but this is the way I like to do it. Control store and call this f of x. So there, it's done. But check this out. f of x is sine of x, given that in our the case that we're interested in, we're only interested in the interval from 0 to pi. So now I can type in solve f of x, sorry, f of x equals 1 comma x, and I should only get one answer, pi halves, and that is the answer. So this such that key allows you to set up an interval that you're interested in. Otherwise, if you have a curve, like you could have a, you could have lots of different curves. You could, hell, you could even have a parabola, right? x squared, if I wanted x squared to equal 25, the two answers would be negative 5 or 5, right? But if I said such that x is greater than 0 but less than whatever, you can cre create an interval that it's much more uh, easily looked at. So, all right, I'm, I'm moving fast because I want to keep true to the time. So I hope this is helpful. If you have questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks, you guys.